So just hours ago, in this very building, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was here. She won an award from the university, and she was here giving a Q&A. And in the spirit of that, here is a song about learning how to fight. It's called Do It For Her or Do It For Him, and it's about Pearl teaching Connie how to sword fight as a means of protecting Stephen. And Stephen, who is listening, realizes sometime during the middle of the song that their attitude towards protecting him may not be the most healthy. So for the purposes of this duet, ukulele player is going to be Pearl, and tie-dye shirt wearer is going to be Connie. Remember, you do it for him, and you would do it again. You do it for her, that is to say, you'll do it for him. Keep your stance wide, keep your body lowered. As you're moving forward, balance is the key. Right foot, left foot, now go even faster. And as you're moving backward, keep your eyes on me. Keep my stance wide, keep my body lowered. Good. As I'm moving forward, concentrate. Don't you want him to live? Right foot, left foot. Yes, but put your whole body into it. Everything you have, everything you are, you've got to give. On the battlefield, where everything is chaos, and you have nothing but the way you feel, your strategy and a sword, you got to think about the life you'll have together after the war. You do it for him, that's how you know you can win. You do it for her, that is to say, you'll do it for him. Deep down, you know, you weren't built for fighting. But that doesn't mean you're not prepared to try. What they don't know is your real advantage. When you live for someone, you're prepared to die. Deep down, I know that I'm just a human. But I still know I can draw my sword and fight. With my short existence, I can make a difference. I can be there for him. I can be his knight. I'll do it for him, I do it for her, and I'll go do that again, I do it for her, and now you say, I'll do it for him.